on to this one because it's getting hit. It's been an awesome birthday so far. Being out here catching fish. Good morning, fishing girl. It is July 4th and we are out here getting ready to do some fishing early morning i've got plans later so getting out here early it's also my birthday so i wanted to spend the first part of my day fishing so we're gonna stop talking and i want to get out there to the beach so we'll see you out there right we're all packed up and ready to go and head down to the beach Just catfish? How far out are you throwing? Okay. Yeah. Is that all you've been catching is the catfish? Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. That's cool. What uh what kind of shark? Is it a bonnet or Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. But we could see. Was it a bonnet or? Couldn't tell that much. I could just kind of tell size and that Okay. Well, good luck. Thank you, too. Thanks. Okay, it looked like I was getting hit. Oh, yeah, I got something there. It doesn't look like anything big, though. Let's see what I got here. to get the skunk out. That is all I need. <laughs> yeah, something small skating on the top. And I got a little uh, croaker. It's not a catfish though. I don't mind that it's not a catfish. <laughs> Dude, I got enough cut bait. Maybe fresh cut bait is better. All right, let's see here. Gotta watch out for their gill plates. Yeah, I can feel him making noise. But they got little, whoop, they got serrated edges here. I don't know if you can see that, how serrated that is. But I'm going to throw him back, little Mr. Croker. Thanks for the catch. You got the skunk out. All right. Oh, we got a nice, we've got a nice deep lip here. There you go, buddy. Thank you. Getting hit again. It uh, looks like another croaker, just from how it's going. This one might be a tad bit bigger. Oh man, look at that sunrise. You just can't beat that. Where else can you go? Can you see that? I'm hoping this camera can see it. It's just beautiful. A bit more fight. This is another croaker. I think. What do we got here? Yep, another croaker. <laughs> I can hear him. 
I think he's even smaller than the last one. We'll see what happens here. All right, dude, that was kind of fun, but I need some of your big brothers out there. Okay, so we've talked about live bait a little bit, but I want to show you how I hook shrimp. So this is typically what I like to do. Yes, I know, dude. This is not going to be fun for you. So what I, I like to use them fresh dead. But what I do, I learned this from a friend of mine. You take the head off, but you want to leave all of the legs. I try to <laughs> get the brain out. I know this is kind of gross. And then I rip the tail off. So the, the legs, the so whiting love these legs. They will go nuts over them. Apparently the uh, croaker do too. <laughs> That's what I'm catching today. So, and then I rip it in half. I get two pieces of bait there from one shrimp. And this is, and this is excellent bait. I'm gonna thread it right on the hook, just like this. So all of these legs are exposed. I've also got glass beads here. We're gonna talk about that in another video. I've got fish bites. We're also going to talk about that in another video. So I've got three different types of bait right there on one line. And uh, I'll go ahead and cast this out. You should see it's not going to fly off. If you thread it on there right, that bait's going to stay put. Yep, and that stayed on just how we wanted it. The sunrise is just amazingly beautiful today. So many things to be grateful for. Another year of life. Being here in Florida. All of my friends and family. So grateful. So I made the mistake last time from being way too far away from uh, from my camera, and the microphone kept cutting out. So I'm putting this camera up real close to my my rods here. I've gotten two croakers so far. Let's see what else we can catch. Tiny though. Whatever's on this one. I think. I don't know. It's fighting. A little bit. No, it popped off. We're on. This middle one's getting hit. I think. Yep, we got something there. Hopefully this will untangle. Okay. The sinker got stuck. This is a whiting and not just another croaker. <laughs> That'd be great. Or not a catfish either. Please don't be a catfish. It's my usual mantra. And it's a catfish. So we got a uh, Tiny little saltwater catfish. He won't be kissing this one. He's going back.
something on this line, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here with this Carolina. I had a mullet head on there and nothing was happening with that, so we're going to try something different here. I've got a fish bite with a dirty boxer on there, fish bites, dirty boxer. And I'm just going to put this in close, like just across this little lip here. And if there's flounder or something, they might see this jiggling and want it. So we'll try. We'll see what we can. I mean, what is it? They say uh, creativity is the mother of invention. I might be onto something here. Oh, necessity. <laughs> Oh, that's getting pulled. Let me toss this out real quick. So I don't want it far. That's good. And we're going to run to this one because it's getting hit. It's been an awesome birthday so far. Being out here catching fish. Just a bigger croaker. Oh, spot fish. This little spot fish. I'm gonna get them off and probably get them back, I guess. Look at this, nice little spot fish. He was fun to catch, I'm sending him back. Okay. Love you too. Bye bye. <laughs> I am multitasking today. I'm <laughs> talking when my son called to wish me happy birthday, and at the same time, I have caught three fish. <laughs> I got a nice little spot fish. I got Another small whiting, and then I got this small whiting. So uh, I'm still gonna take these little ones home because the fillets are small, but they're, ouch, they're still tasty. If I've been catching fish left and right to take home, I probably wouldn't bring him home, but just because the last few fishing trips have been so <laughs> barren, you might say. Okay, all righty, you just ruined your photo shoot, dude. Now you're all sandy. So here he is, this little whiting. He's got a bunch of sand on him, but he's still cute. Okay, so I'm catching a few sand fleas. I've only got about 20 minutes left to fish, and then I gotta pack up and head home for the rest of the day's festivities, but we're gonna see I just caught another whiting, and uh, while I was on that phone call, <laughs> caught a spot fish and uh, another whiting. Looks like I might have something on this line down here, so we'll check it out. So this size right here, I don't know if you can see him. Oh, he's going to crawl around in my hand, but uh, yeah. that size right there should do it. So far, my idea of the fish bites, dirty boxer on a Carolina rig isn't working. We're gonna keep it out there just in case. You ever seen a saltwater catfish before? Have you ever seen a saltwater catfish before? Oh yeah. Yeah. He's not too small. I know. He's not super huge either though. Yeah. But I'm gonna throw him back. He's got his fin pushed up against the back of my glove, but they've actually got poisonous barbs coming out the sides and stuff. So, yep, but we're going to throw them back. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> oh wait. Gotta show them to the camera. Last fish of the day, we're heading home, but we got this little saltwater catfish. We'll let him kiss the camera. Give him a kiss. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I had so much fun coming out here on my birthday on 4th of July and catching some fish, having a good time, enjoying the beautiful sunrise that God gave us this morning. And uh, so, if you enjoy this content, push a like, push a subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time I go live or every time I post a video. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. If you watch to the end of the video, you're awesome because most people don't get all the way to the end. So <laughs> thank you so much even more and we'll catch you later. See you later, fishing girl.